I was asked by the San Francisco Opera to uh, compose an American Faust. They proposed the idea of Robert Oppenheimer, the great uh, American physicist, as the cliche goes, was the father of the atomic bomb. There was this Faustian theme of having created this monstrous weapon of mass destruction. And it did actually strike me as a, as a, as a wonderful theme for an opera. And uh, the most popular scene that everyone seems to have focused on is at the end of the first act. We have this moment where uh, Oppenheimer, for the first time, is, is left alone, and he's on the floor of the desert. Um, it's maybe 2 o'clock in the morning, and he knows that if this bomb is successful, that it's going to change the history of humanity. And he feels that he has, in a sense, lost his soul. And this very famous sonnet, Batter My Heart, Three-Person God, comes to his mind. And uh, I introduce this by this pounding, driving orchestral music, which then suddenly stops. Peter Sellers, my collaborator on this, made a, a really unique libretto, which was a, a mixture of um, top secret documents, uh, you know, from the military and uh, uh, actual text quotes from people who had been involved in it. And he mixed that with poetry um, because Oppenheimer loved po poetry and particularly was drawn to the poetry of John Donne. I do not know exactly what inspired me, but I set the Dunn poem to uh, what is, in a sense, sort of a fractured Pasicalia. Uh, it's very clearly in a minor key, and it has that sort of strophic, repetitive rhythm that you will hear in, let's say, a work of Purcell. Actually, it was an inspiration that really worked because um, it probes the very deep, um, morally puzzled state of mind of Oppenheimer. That sense of his responsibility and, and, and guilt uh, came over him in, in later years, so we're using artistic license to sort of take that, that, that frame of mind and, and put it there on the stage. In the original production by Peter Sellers, they actually made a life-scale atomic bomb, the, you know, the, what was called the Fat Man uh, plutonium sphere. And it was one of the eeriest things I've ever seen on an operatic stage, um, particularly at this moment when it was covered with this shroud and uh, the light came from behind it. And uh, we see Oppenheimer contemplating it um, like some absolutely evil image, um, which I, I, I think... You know, this is something that opera can do that film simply can't. Yeah, you just have to be there in the theater and see this marriage of, of light and sound, music and uh, imagery uh, to be so powerfully affected by it. I think that it's one of the great moments in Peter Sellers' long career in stagecraft I think that it couldn't possibly uh, have been what it was if it weren't for the talent and the intensity of, of Gerald Finley's singing. And um, I think the music's not bad either.